Several post badges are scattered around the city. Participants need to compete with each other to obtain as many badges as possible. New post badges will appear in intervals. The top three badge earners will show here. A scared soldier can be used to stun opponents. Ghosts can randomly appear and if you get hit, you will lose badges. You will have two hours to look for ghost badges around town. Make sure you pick up the gun on the table in front of the fountain so you can shoot people to lose badges or stun them from getting it before you. The townspeople also have guns and can do the same to you. The yellow ghost icon shows on the map where it's located at. There are mixed reviews online about using a horse or not with the event, so it's a preference. Try looking for the beam of light from the sky to help you find the placement of it. If there is a large ghost that wants to stun you, roll away when there's an exclamation mark on your character's head to avoid it. Look for them at Central Plaza because they are closer together. When it's late game and you have a good number of badges, avoid the crowd and use the gun if necessary. Let the townspeople fight with themselves so that you can be placed higher by not losing any badges. At the end of the game, you can keep the ghost badges collected and be awarded some based on how you did in the game, and it can be used at the gift exchange. After the scavenger hunt, everyone goes to the river to release the lanterns. Hello. The lanterns cannot be used as furniture, just the ghosts and other things Hello. in the shop. Collect some free lanterns at the table near the riverside. Don't give the lanterns to anyone, just release them so that you can gain two relationship points with Hi. everyone all at once. It caps at 10 points. Gifting it will only give points for that one specific person. Special group photos. In the morning when you wake up, you can take pictures with Sophie and Emily. At around 9 o'clock a.m. in town, you can take pictures with the townspeople. On your map, there is a camera icon to show you where you can do it, but by the time it's 12 p.m., all the townspeople will be gathered by the fountain, but you can still take a picture by yourself if you want to. You can also play the Haunted Cave minigame too beforehand to collect more ghost badges. You can only hit the ghosts with the gun. Completing the game in less than 5 minutes will give you 35 to 40 badges. Shoot as many ghosts as you can to collect 1 to 5 ghost badges each. If you complete the game in more than 5 minutes, then you'll only be rewarded one badge. 